Hello, everybody. So it is Wednesday, uh, December 28th, and this is the last video um, for 2016. And I just wanted to kind of show you what I've been stitching on and um, what my stitching plans for next year are. So, let's see, as far as stitching on things, so I was working on this, and I actually made some really good progress. So, I made quite a bit of progress. Um... I typically only stitch on this at Christmas time, so likely this will get put up until next Christmas. Um, and we'll just, you know, go from there. I, I really enjoy stitching on it at Christmas. It's one of those great Christmas projects. Um, and then, what else did I stitch on? I broke out Celtic Noel, but I don't have enough progress to show on that, and I'm actually considering ripping it all out and starting from the top down, which is what Mindy was doing, and I started from the bottom and went up, but, um, one, I need to get some Krennic because it's all that gold in the dress. Two, I've made a mistake and I can't figure out where. And it's in all that scroll work at the bottom of the dress. So it's going to bug me until I find where the mistake is. And then I'm looking for the other project I started. Oh, there it is. So I worked on that one and I'm sorry if I sound weird. I have a cold, so you know. And then I started, I went home for Christmas, and I wanted a project I could take with me. And so my friend Netta had gotten me this um, Santa's Remembered because I don't really care for um, the tradition or the classic American Santa. Um, I'm much more of a Pierre Noel, St. Nicholas fan. So she got me these um, different Santas through the ages, and I started this one, which um, one of the things I like about this book is it gives you um, a little bit about it, and this Santa is from the Civil War era, where Santa was used as propaganda, but you can also, he's got a more stern facial expression compared to um, a more jolly expression. But anyway, I'll probably stitch several more from this book. I quite like it. Um, so I actually got quite a ways on this one, um, considering I only stitched on a couple days. So I'm already, I've got, you know, a boot and the pant leg. And this is actually part of the uh, coat. So I've been enjoying this one. Um, I will likely try and finish this one next year. Um, but I consider it, it's not just Santa, it's kind of a historical thing. So, and love me some history. I'm a really strange science major, what can I say? Um... So that's really the two pieces I worked on. Um, so, for 2017. Um, I don't have a lot of plans. Um, I, my schedule is crazy. Um, I'm student teaching for the spring. And then, you know, I'll very likely possibly be moving in the summer and starting teaching in the fall. So that just means, excuse me, 
Um, I'm going to be very busy. So I'm not going to set a lot myself a lot of plans. Um, I do have a theme of hedonism. <laughs> so I'm going to stitch basically what I want and what brings me joy and I'm not going to get too fussed about it. So I do have a few things I want to do and I've set myself a few goals. So the first one is to finish this lighthouse and I am getting close. So there is a set of half pages that go across the bottom of grass and then I'll come back in and fill in. I'm going to start with the picket fence. This is this um, space right all through here is a picket fence. So I'll do the picket fence up and then do the house and the lighthouse. So that's kind of my goal and I want to get it finished sooner rather than later. My father, it's for my father-in-law and his health has not been great. So I want to get it done as soon as possible. So I actually just pulled it off the frame to show you and it's going to go back on the frame because I've been working on it and I want to work on it some tonight, hopefully. So there's that piece. Um, okay. So the other thing I would like to actually work on is my monthly, um, fairies. So I started this last year and if I can get the thing to come out. Or I started it this year, not last year. It's not next year yet. All right, so, and I have one fairy done. So what I'm going to do, because this is um, June, is I'm just going to jog up from the corner here and start with January and start, and just each month try and finish a fairy. Um, so that's that. So we'll probably start working on that um, the first of January. And they're not really big patterns. They're not super complicated. Uh, so it shouldn't be too hard to finish it. I do need to pull the colors for the January fairy. I need to that's another thing I need to do this week is kit everything up, which so there's that one. And that is out of the book of awesomeness, the ultimate cross stitch fantasy book. So there's that one. Um, and then I also plan on making um, an ornament a month and predominantly I'm going to be focusing on this which is ultimate cross stitch from 2015 that Jennifer uh, very nicely sent to me. Um, it has it has um, a series called snowy animals. And so I'm going to be stitching these. I'm going to predominantly, predominantly be focusing on the wildlife that doesn't have hats and things on them. So they have, um, a moose. So that's what I'm going to start with. Um, they have a badger, they have a bobcat, they have polar bear, they have a mouse, they have a bird. Um, a rabbit, penguins, a Shetland pony, a yak, a tiger, a donkey. I mean, they just have so many that, I mean, there's just pages of them. So that, that it's Christmassy and it's animals. I, I think that's a great representation of me. So, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing 
one of those I need to get this spiral brown so it's easier for me to work from I need to get both of them spiral brown but this one will be first because I have immediate plans for this one so there's that I have to get that kitted up because we have the um, ornament style that starts on January 4th so to try and do the ornament a month um, and then there are my big projects which I haven't really been working on much and like I said the, the big goal is to finish the lighthouse project but I do have all these big projects and I do want to get some progress on them so for Jack I'd like to get a page finished so right now I am right over I think I'm up here and I'd like to finish the page which I think finishes the column so I've got a bit of stitching to do so I like to finish this page this year it's not bad going it's pretty much like four colors in this that particular page so ideally I should be able to get that finished without any real problem um, it's just actually working on it so there's that one can I get it all back in its poor bag? I'm going to have to upgrade my storage for this. I think for this one I'm going to end up getting one of those um, boxes and using that to store this in because it's just not fitting well into the bag. And the more stitches I get on the fabric, the harder it's going to be. So there's Jack. And then... I am going to attempt to get a page finish on the mermaid, which is this one. And okay, so video cut off. We're gonna try this again and edit some clips together. So as I had left off, I was showing you um Mermaid, which is one that I want to get a page finish on. And this is where that one's at right now. So I have a good chunk of a page going. So I think that's very doable to get a page on that one done. And then I would like to get a page on snow. And that's where we're sitting at with snow. So, and snow has quite a bit less um, colors than the other does. Um, yeah, snow has 27 colors compared to mermaids 120. All right. So, um, that, that's my year long goals. Um, but I'm mostly going to focus on smaller goals. And so my new year, new start. And I had just put everything up. So now I have to get everything back out. Thank you, computer. All right. So for January 1st, the new year, new start, I am going to be doing the butterfly effect. So I have it all kitted up on this really pretty yellow fabric. And of course, I've already got my butterfly needle minder in there. So that's what I'm going to do for that. Um, then we have the January challenge, monthly challenge, which the theme for that one is um, follow the yellow brick road. And I have to pull that up again. 
and Amazon is really starting to annoy the crap out of me. I don't need stupid kitty apps automatically pulling up on my Kindle all the time. I don't have kids. So for Follow the Yellow Brick Road, I'm going to be doing this project, which is called Over the Rainbow. Um, I think that's what it's called. Or Wizard of Oz Cityscape. I'm not sure which one it's named to for different things. So um, this is a Satsuma street. So we have a Satsuma we, we, for our featured designer cells. We're going to be doing Satsuma in January. So this piece works for Fall the Yellow Brick Road and Satsuma. So that's quite convenient. Um, so I plan on working that. I think I'm going to make some tweaks to the pattern more than likely. We'll make some tweaks. Um, so there's that one. And then I need to make a teacher gift. Um, as you know, I'm student teaching this sem semester. So I needed need a gift to give to my cooperating teacher. And I'm going to do this right here. And it says there are three good reasons for a teaching career, July, June, July, and August. So it's just a really cute little project. And then for my other coordinating teacher, I'm going to do the Einstein quote I did last year or this year. See, I, I'm really getting confused at this point. Um, and then we have the Christmas ornament. So I'm going to be doing the moose. So that's the first one I'm going to start with. And then we have the January fairy. So that is what I'm going to start with. Okay. So I'm really not sure what my computer just did. I'll edit these two videos together. All right. So anyway, um, and then we have the January fairy, which is this cutie up there. Um, so that's my plans for January. Um, I'm just kind of gonna plan as I go and we'll, we'll, I'm just going to do what I want, basically. Um, I have a few projects that I want to focus on, but other than that, I don't have that much time for stitching anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to try and make a, a goal of going to my local LNS for the weekly stitching, uh, gathering. So that's on Thursday nights. <laughs> This is what you get for filming at not even eight o'clock in the morning yet. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm sitting at for 2017. I'll try and do at least, um, I'm trying, you know, probably by eh, second, third week of January start planning what I'm going to do in February and try and get a video updated. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm, I'm optimistic that I can get most of the larger goals done. Um, while I'm going to work on other projects, I'm not necessarily, um, expecting to finish them. Um, I would be quite happy if I just finished my year long goals, the lighthouse, I would really like to get done sooner as soon as possible. So that's probably going to be the big focus, but yeah. So I hope everybody has a great and safe new year's and I will see you next year. Bye now.